now let me ask you about this. It was a documentary that kind of came out uh, in the last year, or it might have been out longer than that, but in the last year, it created a lot of controversy. I think it was called Hebrews to Negroes. So for the viewers that's, that's listening, is that a, a, a good source, you know, for somebody that's, you know, maybe not uh, well informed on Hebrew Israelites? Is that a, a, yeah, like a good source for them to check out? And what, what is your perspective on that documentary? What I like about the documentary is that it brought a lot of attention to who the children of Israel are. Um, the brother, uh, Ron Dalton, I know him, uh, met him. Um, I actually interviewed him. Um, he's a good brother. And I think what he did should be applauded because it gives a, um, it gives almost like a starting point. So he goes into some uh, information that helps someone that may not know how we became lost, um, how we found, start with discovering we were the children of Israel. It's an excellent uh, foundation. Um, the reason why I think it's so offensive is because it brings an awakening to a set of people that have slumbered in their identity for so long. Like we slumber, so if you think about blacks, we don't call ourselves black, we don't call ourselves African-American, we don't call ourselves Negro, nigger, Afro-American, Asiatic, I don't know a term that we haven't applied to us because we suffer from an identity crisis. So what Hebrews to Negroes does is it helps reestablish what our actual identity is. And I think that's the power of that documentary. Um, and I think we should have more information come out like that. And sometimes it's going to be controversy because that's what the truth does. Like Christ said in John 8 and 32, he said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He didn't say that the truth was going to be nice. He didn't say it was going to be kind. He didn't say it was going to be a fight, but it was going to make you free. And our mental has to be free. Our mental block, what blocks us from uh, being what we would be quintessentially is being mentally enslaved. So now it's not just enough to know that you're an Israelite. Once you find out you're an Israelite, now you have a foundation of code of conduct. You have foundation of morality. You have foundation of feast things. You, you have a foundation of loyalty. How are you supposed to deal with money? There's so much contained within the laws of God that is lacking, like in the black community, the brotherhood that exists. When brothers have issues with each other like that occur, there should be a system in place that allows us to resolve that issue without violence, without gunplay. There should be some type of morality that prevents us from selling drugs to each other, that prevents us from aborting our babies, that prevents us from living an alternative lifestyle that's not conducive to what the Lord would have us do. And so a book like Hebrews, the Negroes, sparks the mind because it sparks conversation since now. And here's the interesting part. The interesting part, the book was on, on or the documentary was on Amazon since like 2015, 2016. It wasn't until Kyrie Irving just shared the link that it became a point of interest. But it makes it a good point of interest because now it just sparks the conversation. Could they be the people of this book? Is this something that we should follow? Is it beneficial for black people? Is it an attack on another race of people? Or is it just claiming something that was once ours? So I think that's where or how we should perceive um, the book Hebrews and Negroes. Oh, okay, right. I appreciate you clarifying that, right? Like you say, it's a book and it's a documentary. That people right. can go check out and it's, it's been out almost a decade 